So I can see if your car is moving. Okay. It's time for the Pokemon. Oh, you need to put that in the old rec room. Boop. Good old sheer. sheer the We're sheer live. Bit. There's music. You see that rec room, bro? You see that whole map? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh. 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 Oh, just a quick oh. No. We're real. We're I was real like, now. Carter, all these things are surely words that you were saying, but I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. But then I did. What is going on here? Okay, Asks. I fixed it. Hot dog All right, what are we even doing? Dude, we are SS Ambrose. We are SS Ambrose. Uh, we're in a. We are in pretty good position to go do SS Ambrose. We've got we've got money. We got Pokemans. Welcome to the SS Ann. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Danger Flash, the SS ticket. Great. Welcome to the SS Ann. Get on board that bitch. Yeah. Is this... This is a new route. Fire Red o Omega. Eh, this is Pokemon Platinum. Uh, let's see. We can actually catch something. This is a new route. Fire Rednum. Oh shit! No, I don't want to catch anything. Not with this Pokemon out front. Oh, let's see what happens. Ooh, we already have one. Yeah, I was gonna say we can let this go. We already have one. All right. Well, no, I'm gonna have a not Fire type out front. <laughs> Um. I'm gonna swap out the plug so I can shock whatever it is. Oop. And then we're gonna use our good rod once more. Mm hmm. 
I said I would like to use our good rod, not even a middle. All right. Good rod. Once more. There we go. I want a Krabby. I want a... I want a happy, happy crab Pokemon. Alright, a level 14 Krabby should have... 20 HP. More than 20 HP. What is a Krabby turn? Hangler which is one of my favorite Pokemon. And I do intend adding it as a good name for this. <coughs> uh, so Dragon Rage always does 20 damage no matter what. Then the hope is this thing only has it died. Well, oh. never mind. Rip. RIP Krabby. I thought that only dealt 20 damage. Well, rip. Oh, well. Well, the water on the other side doesn't count. Or does it? Nah, it's same route. It's okay. We, we, we're we really solid on water types. We have a full team of water types ready. We have too many water types. All right. So this is where we're going to heal. This is the Pokemon Center for the boat. It's a, little, it's a little heal room. And we're about to go room by room and beat the shit out of all these people's Pokemon. They came here for a nice vacation, and I came here for experience. I'm a solitary traveler, my sole companions, and friends of Pokemon I caught on my journey. Hmm. Well, your sole companions are about to catch these hands. <laughs> Gentleman Thomas. Gentleman Thomas. Thomas has a level 23 Growlithe. Oh shit. Well, the good news is these guys are going to level up fairly quickly. Uh, we're going to send out Mudbutt. Because we have a Pokemon. We have a Pokemon strong enough to deal with this. Mmm. And he wasted his move like a fool. Uh, he... He does something weird. Um... If someone in chat knows what Odor Salute does, that would be rad, because it's, it's one of those weird moves I never use. Maybe the Scoundbot knows. I don't know, Scoundbot, do you know what Odor Salute does? Belvedere Crew level 15. Damn, go Mudbutt. Oh, that is what it is. Uh, it allows normal and fighting type moves to hit ghost types, which is a really weird Pokemon to use or move to use on a not uh, fucking ghost type. Causes evasion boost to disappear for a given move. Also, not super a questionable use to a. Uh, I'm gonna send out Freddy Fats. Freddy Fats is the right counter choice to meditate. He's a little lower level, but like, yeah, no, he's the right. This is the right choice because now I'm gonna go. Oh, oh, why you do? Pain in the ass. Hate confusion. It's okay. Oh wow. Is he fighting psychic type and that deals only normal amount of damage? Well, I don't like that. Eh, I mean what the fuck is that? Well not very effective. I'm just gonna headbutt him, I guess. He's gonna explode his face with my face. You know, sometimes you don't need psychic powers when you just have a good shot to the head. Alright. Well, fuck your friends. 
So yeah, when you do an accuracy check after Odor Sleuth, it ignores evasion changes. Oh, okay. I will... I do agree, you should be nice to your friends. Maybe train yours better, so they don't lose. Alright, I want an evolved Belvedere, please. No. You insolent pup, how dare you bargain? How you? Well, you're going to send out your new Reno. I'm going to send out Mudbutt. When in doubt, Mudbutt. Mudbutt's going to be our clutch if things get rough in Lieutenant Surgeville. Pokemon. A little worried about Surge? Eh. Not like overly. After our fight with Misty, I'm feeling pretty confident. But. Belvedere's popping a little bit time. Yeah, we'll learn back. Um. Get rid of focus energy. I, uh, I'm trying to think of what to do about Gently slash Jinx. Or not Gently, uh, whatever fucking the free evolution of Jinx is. Uh, let's start leveling Rocky. Um. Smooch him. Thank you. Uh. Yeah, I had the thought, but then Taylor posted it like immediately afterwards, which is equally good. Uh, yeah, no, spooch him. Uh, cause it's ice, psychic, which is a weird typing, and most of our party is in some way weak to it, <laughs> and it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, ice, ice psychic is a gnarly set of coverages that kind of bones us at the moment. Now, eventually, Rocky is a hard counter to it. When it fully evolves, he is a super counter to their starter. Rocky's the long investment. Uh, what does she have out? Nidorina? Let's send out... Yes. Hyper Beam is a reasonable counter to most things. I don't like that. I don't like... What was Freddy Fats thinking? Well, Freddy Fats is thinking... Explode the brain. Explode the brain with his brain. Explosion uh, brain. Exploding brain disease. Not to be... Underestimated. No. Uh, it's 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 pretty serious. I'm glad I've never been exposed to it. I hear it's pretty contagious. Oh, Rocky's gonna uh, gain boosted experience too because he's traded. I forgot, so he's gonna level super quickly. Oh yeah, we need to. Uh, we need what? To Rocky. Oh. oh shit, Belvedere. Yeah, let's is this see the it. Fighting chicken. This is the fighting chicken. Magnificent. What? It's a fighting chicken now, Belvedere. Dude, I love it. That's crazy. Combuskin. Combuskin. Trying to learn double kick. Ooh, out the gate. I would love to learn. We're gonna trade Growl. So let's attack twice. Yep. And stats are pretty solid. Still got a ways to go to catch up to the plug, but like 
because the plug's a beast. What does Combuskin evolve into? Blaziken. It looks like it. It looks pretty gnarly. And then this guy evolves into Swampert. Is that like thirty-six? Yes, thirty-six. Uh, this guy evolves, I think, at like thirty or thirty-five. And this will be thirty-five and fifty-five, I think. Is there? What's the level cap? Sixty. Hundred. Hundred. Yeah. And there's more post-game content in this version of Pokemon than the normal game, so we will we may get close to it. Uh, it's entirely possible that, given all the extra stuff we have to do, we'll actually hit much higher level. Uh, I'm terrified of this game as a Nuzlocke. Getting that point. Waiter, I'd like a cherry pie, please. Well, I'd like you to... Real on the nose for Pokemon to design a cockfighting Pokemon? A little bit. Well, the cruise is so elegant yet cozy. What about you, little girl? Always. Okay. What about you, Wigglytuff? Poo poo. Hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, even when no one believes in you, the scoundrels still believe in you. Are you saying we're nobody? Because that's not inaccurate. <laughs> like, uh, that wasn't me. That was just, that was just... No, I'm looking at the bot. I'm talking about the bot. Let's see. What say you, last Anne? Not to be confused with the much superior Anne for Persona 5. What is this? Became the center of attention. Okay. Nice. You are the center of attention, all right. And... Get shat upon. How do you skitty? Will not change Pokemon. Okay, calm down. Okay, calm down. Okay. Damn. Um, Dinner. Dude, that double kick is insane. It's one of the best moves at this point in the game. All right. Thank you. Went around the world for these. Well, you wasted your fucking time, didn't you? Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna go heal up Belvedere real quick. Thank you for socialized medicine on this boat. This this cruise service has better healthcare than my home. True. Hmm. Hmm. No, nope, we have two more trainers in here. Uh, let's see, is it gonna pick him up from over here? No, let's see what this is. We got Brick Break. Rad. Brick Break is a really good move. Um, it's actually, it's actually even better than Double Kick. Uh, let me see something. What, how, what power is this? 30. So with Stab, which is the same type attack bonus, each of these hit for power 45 for a total of 90. For Brick Break with Stab, it's for power 105. Or something like that. It's like 107.5 with its base power of 75. So I'm just looking and considering who, if, when to use that on. Put it on the plug. Not a terrible idea. Um, yeah, plug already... Who did you give cut to? Did you get cut yet? Not yet. Uh, we're getting it on the boat. Sent out Nuzleaf. Oh shit. It's 
the titular Pokemon. Yeah, that's what Nuzlocke is named off of. It was a Nuzleaf named after Locke from Lost. Nuzlocke. So they played like the first one with like a Nuzleaf or some shit? Have you never seen the comic that, uh... There's a comic... Ooh, hey bud. Of Locke? Uh... No, um... There's a Lost comic, bro? It's a lot. It's a comic that's lost. You lost a comic? There was a comic based off this dude's playthrough of Pokemon. And it's like the foundation for this entire genre of challenge. No. I have not seen that. Uh, comic. it's really good. So it stars the guy from Lost, 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 Lost. Uh, he catches a Nuzleaf or he catches a C dot and that evolves into a Nuzleaf and he names it Nuzlocke and it dies like super early on and like that sets the tone for everything and he's Did that one Nuzleaf? yeah that one Nuzleaf eating it early Oh, so you don't want to fight, just your children. Okay. We, we took them out to lunch. I'm a global police agent. I'm on the trail of Team Rocket. They're up to nothing good. Don't tell anyone about my super secret sting operation on this he boat. He, he doesn't want to catch these guys. All right, Let's see what's going on in here. Do you have to fight any of these guys? Nope. I'm mostly here to rummage through the garbage. Get the berry pouch. Hum dee dum dee hoo. I peel spuds every day. Hum hum. Got a cherry berry. Did you hear about Snorlax? It's a glutton. No other Snorkmon. No other Pokemon eats and sleeps the way Snorlax can and does. That's good. Yeah, John Chester berry. Oh, poor lad. Mmm. Snivel a little wapit. <laughs> uh, hey, I am indeed le chef. Le main course is prawn beef stick. But I have enough le filet to beef. I don't know. Do you have enough beef filets? I saw... I with my eye a pokeball down there on the left. I also see that pokeball. I found a great ball. Is even better than a Pokeball. One great ball. You, mon petit, we're busy here. How's this your way? You're not fine. I don't want to. Alright, that's all for the kitchen boys. <laughs> the kitchen boys can't handle this truth. This ship, she is a luxury line of Pokemon trainers of the world. At every port, we hold parties with invited trainers. That's rad. Hot stripper parties. journeyed far and wide, but in all my travels I've never seen any Pokemon sleep quite like this one. There's only these gentlemen. Yeah, there's a boat full of old people and children. Most of which seem to be very interested in Snorlax. Uh, alright. Kind of this is a pretty... Alright. Fight this guy first. Ash? Nah, he's a fisherman, dude. We're Ash. Technically, we're red. Fisherman Dale. Nah. Let's see, uh, we're gonna bring out. The How is he related to Ash? Though? Is that bad? No, Ash is this. Ash was the anime equivalent of this character. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting this remake. Well, so so there is a character. Oh, I forgot he's ground type. Uh, so no, there's a character named Ash, and then there's a character named Red. They exist in different universes. They they are not like 
in one continuity, the main character from Pallet Town is named Ash Ketchum, and one the other, his name is Red, and his rival's name is Blue instead of Gary. And there's also a green and a yellow. They are other characters. Uh, that continuity is wild compared to the anime. Is that like, canon? I mean, it's the manga canon. There's a Pokemon manga. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Um, in it, uh, a Pokey manga. Yeah, dude. A uh, Pokey manga, if you will. Uh, they, in it, like most of the gym leaders are actually members of Team Rocket. It's not just Giovanni. It's like everyone besides like Misty and Brock. And they're all loaded. Mm-hmm. And, uh, there's way more, like, like, multiple people catch legendaries over the course of the run of the comic. It's pretty wild. They're just catching the legendaries? Yeah, they straight up, like, catch them and use them. Uh, the plug is trying to learn light screen. I don't remember what light screen does. Uh, a wall of light cuts damage from special attacks for five turns. It's actually a decent move. Um, I would not trade anything we have for it, though. Maybe it's just else. Yeah, that's a that's a support move on a very offensive Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I never got around reading the manga, but the bits of it I was exposed to were very good. Would you call it? Uh, you just cut out. We will find out what he was about to ask when he comes back. Um, I had some, like, really old comic book issues, too. I'm jealous. I would like to see those. Oh, shit. The Magikarp can hit back. Also, why is his Magikarp level 20 and not evolved? What a fucking travesty. I'd be pissed. There he is. Carter, what was your question that you were about to ask? I was about to ask if, uh, what the mango was supposed to be called. Is it Topanga? No, Carter. Can't say that it is. It's just po Pokemon. The manga, kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, was just Yu-Gi-Oh. The po the Pokemanga. Uh. Pokemanga. The Pokemanga. Pokemanga, gotta catch them all in pram form. You destroy that Pikachu. Send it out, mud butt. Do it. Watch that detective Pikachu movie. I did not. I really wanted to. Uh, I never got around to it. It looked it looked beautiful. Like it looked it looked really really well done. And it looked like it was like done pretty lovingly with the universe in mind. Like you can tell. Is that like is that what happened? This is the Pikachu from Ash become a detective. That's a completely different. Gotham City. Yeah, like it it references the universe, but it's like its own self-contained thing, kind of thing. Star test. That's good at money. Sweet star boy. All right. Hmm. Thank you, boat. What's over there on the right, or did you already go that way? I haven't actually gone that way yet. Might be some secrets. Here's the downstairs. Uh -oh. Hmm. Hmm. What up, gentleman with a macho? Bloody Macho is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rock. Thank you. 
for that, sir. His sailor's pride is at stake. Oh, shit, dude. Dude, fucking... Duncan. Duncan's, Duncan's pride. Duncan's pride. Duncan's pride. That sounds... That sounds like... <laughs> it sounds like a young adult novel. Like that uh, movie with Cuba Gooding Jr. Uh, where he's like a diver. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> no. He's like a, he's like a he's a military diver. So you might know a movie we were talking about. Uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. Bruh. He's 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 a diver. Okay, now go on. Any other pl are there it's any other basic. pertinent plot information you've got for me? Uh, you dude, you don't know that diver movie. Uh. I hear you typing. I hope it's in the background. We'll look up what the fuck you're talking about. Because I have no Man, idea. Man of Honor. Man of Honor. Oh. It's got Robert De Niro and Cuba Gooding Jr. Okay, I never saw that movie, but I recognize that title now. And it uses that, like, old diving gear uh, from the 50s and shit. Like, the old Navy diving gear, like, they yeah, yeah. suits and shit. Mm. Uh, but anyway, that's what Duncan's Pride Duncan's Pride is pretty much the same thing. No, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, Jess. Your bits are always welcome. Loved. Hey. Okay, someone just put a link. Man of Honor. Carter's mic a bit low. Alright, let me, uh... Yeah, get it, get it up there, bro. All right. Um, yes. Yes. I've got you yes. all the way not reduced on my end, so it's now something on your end. You need to make a little louder. Well, no, you just you go oh, in okay. slobs. No, sorry. I was in slobs. Okay, now you're you're picking properly now. You were you were like consistently okay. showing up below it. Okay. But now you're like cool. you're still a little below yellow. Yeah. But it's it's significantly better than it was before. Thank you for there calling that out. Okay. All right. So, dude, how many trainers are on this fucking boat? Dude? A lot. We're getting all. We're milking them for experience. That's not what I said. Uh, let's not get our get ourselves mixed up. Let's I don't like Freddy it. Fats getting on acid. Hypnosis. All right. One more and he's dead. I'm willing to roll these dice. Use ah. your hypnosis. Don't need to. I'm putting him to sleep permanently. Confus confusing him to death. I've con yes. Death by confusion. Alright. Your spirit soak me. Hot. Death by confusion. Alright. See, Belvedere started like half an hour ago. Belvedere was level 14. Now he's pushing 20. Look at our lad. Yeah, he's looking good, dude. Especially that double kick. Get Big Bertha out there. Big Bertha needs love to you. Actually, Big Bertha's a pretty... No, not an option to send out against Smoochum. I lied. Ice type. I am a fool. Trying to get our dragons killed. I am a fool. Oh, 
Morgan Rage. Alright. Belvedere is level 20. Baller. Right, good battle, mate. Australian. I would see... I want a Pokemon game set in Poke Australia. Like, think of the possibilities. Many floors are in this cruise ship. Cruise ship, cruise ship. You're still coming in a little quiet. Tiny, tiny bit. Cruise ship with the cruise ship. Rob, you want me uh, there you to are. start yelling? No, I don't need you. I don't need, I don't need you to be that present. I'll start yelling into Rob's ear. No, no, there's no need for all that. <laughs> <laughs> I like feisty kids like you. Oh, you salty little sailor barging in my room like this. Sailor Dylan, who are the five hottest rappers in the world right now? Dylon, 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 and Dylon. He spits hot fire. Dylon. Dylon. Dylon, 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 and Dylon. Give me that hot Dylon, dude. Mm. Big Bertha. Bertha. Please stop lowering my accuracy. Boitha. Scoundrel bot. No one asked you. Literally no one asked you. You talked on your own. Shut up, scoundrel bot. Dude, he's, he's like crazy rambunctious today. Dude, going off. I don't like our bot being rambunctious. Our bot should be strictly Advice programmed. No point. Um, our dude set it up, and the song request should be working now. Everyone, if you're trying to song request. Yeah, it's um exclamation point sr, I think. And then just put the song or the link. And your song will get put in the queue. Uh oh. Can I not escape now? Because that would be bad. Dude, you're about to get clammed like in Suikoden. Nah, uh, he's. Oh god, Garter, no, don't put that fucking evil on a Freddy Fats. Are you kidding? That was one of our first game overs in that game. Why would you bring that up? <laughs> Carter. <laughs> that clamp, he's, he's getting clamped in his sleep, bro. Oh, you fucking can't be saying shit like that. You're gonna get Freddy Fats killed. Don't kill the fats. No, hey, no. You remember that, remember that song, Freddy's Dead? Da, da, da. Dun dun dun, dun 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 dun. You know what song I'm talking about? No, I don't. Fre Freddy's dead. Curtis what? Mayfield. Freddy's dead. I actually do not know. To tie you up and abuse you, you know all that crazy shit, dude. All right, Clamp Pearl woke up. We've got him. <laughs> we got him. We got him. You got. Him. <laughs> I just discovered that the song request thing's working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The robot is on it, dude. He's pretty quick with those. I appreciate the honest effort that the bot makes. That's all. That's all we. That's all we ask. That's all we ask is for solid advice and other commands. Whatever the but robot commands are. Uh -huh. 
Corfish. I love Corfish. Corp Hish. It's Corp Hish. Corpish. Corp. Get your, get your corp on. Oh, you really gonna protect? You really gonna do that? Rob, are you getting your tuck on? My tuck? Your tuck. My tuck. Yeah. Is your, is your, are you getting your sweet tuck on? Uh, would you fuck me? <laughs> I'd fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> it fucked me so hard. No, I mean like your shirt. Is your shirt tucked? Oh. You getting your sweet shirt tucked on? Nah, dude. I don't. I don't tuck my shirt in while you don't get your while on tuck, stream. Do you your, you dude, get your I'll sweet tuck. On? Listen, I'm, I'm a like, man who tucks his shirt on the regular, but I don't tuck my shirt while like other people are listening in, unless I'm feeling that. And right now, I'm not. <laughs> Dude, I got my sweet, I got my sweet tuck on right now, bro. bro. I need you to not be tucking your shirt in while we're on stream. That's Posh fucking. My posture, my posture is so good though. So great. It's the best posture that everyone saw. I keep calling uh, the cat John DiMaggio. Now. John DiMaggio. That's a good name. John Dim John DiMaggio. Even us sailors have Pokemon too. Yeah, I know. I've already beaten up like six of you guys. You don't remember who John DiMaggio is? No, I know who John DiMaggio is. My cat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carter. <laughs> I forgot. Between yeah. you just bringing <laughs> it up. In the five seconds that I told you. Yeah. Remember. Remember. Remember the Margio. We should do a remake of that Remember the Titans movie, except it's called Remember the Margio. Remember the Margio? What is our what is our point of contention? Because in that movie, it was the fact that it was the 1960s and all that things that went along with. <laughs> uh, no, I was thinking more it'd just be about the cats. And throw out the whole 60s angle. So throw out all the racial tensions, athletics, and the and the football, and the Fuck football. It. It's, it's just it's just my cat for three hours, and me telling him his name is John DiMaggio. Hello, I married a nerd. Always happy to see you. We're if you're just tuning in, we're discussing why would John. I want to take sand attack at level 21? Get the fuck out of here. We're discussing the the Remember the Titans movie, except the remake version where it's not in the 60s. And it has and nothing to do with Remember football or race relations, and it's just footage of his cat. Yeah, it's just called Re Remember the John DiMaggio. DiMau Di DiMaggio? DiMaggio, I like that too. DiMaggio. DiMaggio. Also. One for One DiMaggio is an excellent song by Wolfpack. By the way. You getting your Wolf... Dude, how can you listen to Wolfpack if you're not getting your sweet tuck on? That's... You're assuming a lot about what I do when I listen to the Wolf. Although they do... They are all very tucked. Nary a man among that among that group not tucked yeah what is this tuck if uh if i have to explain it to you you probably can't afford it not. it's just three you get a really clean tuck all the way around so you don't Ooh. have any like flags no, that's just the truth of it. If you have to ask what a tuck is, you probably can't afford one from me. What is the, uh, what's TM44? Rest. Let's us sleep to heal. Of questionable utility at this point. 
Wait, it replaces one of your four abilities with rest? Yes. Hello, stranger. I can't tell if you're from the seas or mountains, but stop and chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. They're about to get fucking In fact, let me attack smashed. you with them. Fisherman Barney. Damn, he's got a Carvana. Yeah, I know about it. That's that new uh, that's that new app that you can sell your car on or I, buy a car on. Hey, you're right. Dude, that started in this game? Omega? Uh no, that that's two thousand three. Rocky game so boost. Selling cars through this app since 2003. Well, the Pokemon's existed since 2003. I don't know if they've been selling cars through smartphones that long. I don't know. Uh, which which came first, the Pokemon and or the uh, or the Pokeball? The Pokemon. Oh oh, so you never played. Um, gold and silver, but they actually kind of explain where Pokeballs come from in that game. Uh, not like where they're currently made, because they actually show you a Pokeball factory in either five or six gen. But in gold and silver, you meet a guy who like still makes old school like wooden Pokeballs. Basically, he like takes n these big nuts. And turns them into specialist Pokeballs. Mm -hmm. And they're super yeah. rad. Kurt, his Big name is nuts. Kurt. Uh, they're called Apricorns. They're called D's Nuts? They are called D's Nuts, Carter. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Once again, your assessment. <laughs> Fucking immaculate. Uh, uh, no, but it was honestly one of my favorite parts of playing that game as a kid was getting all the custom Pokeballs. I was like almost hesitant to use them because it was cool to have an inventory full of like uh, random shit. Like we kind of take for granted now because there's a million different kinds of Pokeballs, but that was the first instance of there being more to it than just like Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball. The best one by far for catch ratio is either the um, it's actually interesting it depends so like the dive balls particularly good against its narrow niche the quick ball is better than everything for the first turn and then the worst after that the real time wait yeah I hated it I liked and disliked that because Pokemon Gold and Silver with the fact that the clock actually went in real time and there was stuff every day of the week it kind of gave that like sense of continuity that Animal Crossing did but like four years earlier three years earlier like the world felt consistent and real Yeah. It makes me a little sad that I didn't... The remakes honestly felt smaller in a weird way. Uh, because Heart Gold and Soul Silver was a thing. And I can't really explain why, but in a way, that game feels smaller to me than the original. Even though that's objectively untrue. Same. I have my copy of the original gold and the battery is dead. So no save. What did they remake gold and silver into? Heart gold and soul silver. And that was on the DS? Okay. It was a really good remake. Don't get me wrong. It was post physical special split, so it like was promise honestly a better remake than Fire Red in a lot of ways. Um What does he have out? Oh my job. We're gonna send out Freddy Pats. 
Um, I'm still earnestly waiting for Diamond uh, Earl remake. That should be the next one up since we got a Ruby Sapphire remake. Have you been playing the new one on your Switch? I've never played the new one. I honestly don't care to. Why? Is it not good? Um, I have some complaints about it that I think make it not worth $60 in my mind. Because, hey, that's the first thing. It's a $60 Pokemon title. It's more expensive would you than... Get it on, would you get it, like, say, for 30 or 20 Absolutely. For sure. That much, whatever. But, like, 60 no, I can't validate that to myself. So, like, what's your, what's your issue? What's your, what's your issue? What's your beef with it? Okay. So, Pokemon Black and White takes everything that came before it and, like, refines and polishes it to, like, just this mirror sheen. It's, like, the summation of everything. It feels like we've taken and grown and added and collected and polished. And then, starting with the 3D titles, there were, like, more gimmicks being added mm -hmm. that didn't necessarily so like Mega Evolution was cool I was about Mega Evolution Mega Evolution was a neat thing and what's then Mega what's Mega Evolution? basically it's like a temporary evolution on top of your like final tier evolution that makes your Pokemon even stronger and sometimes changes their like typing and stuff really? what, what up Drago Nooch Yo. Um, so it's cool. Uh, they added some mechanics that were neat, but like, so, okay. Sword and Shield doesn't have the full Pokedex. Mm -hmm. Like, they just selectively trim stuff out. And they trimmed out a lot of the Pokemon that I liked. Uh, and wanted to, would have been particularly interested in playing. Uh, I think that for it being the first console Pokemon title, graphically, it's pretty underwhelming. Yo, man, we appreciate you, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, We're good. Creep aside, Dr uh, Drago Nooch, we had, um, I found his channel when Marco did that, did the podcast, the Suikoden, or the Uden Chronicle podcast oh yeah and they were plugging us in the uh in like the second half of it and i think it was <laughs> marco was talking to somebody about out <laughs> i can't remember the the guy he had i uh, bless you on Thank the you. uh other who he was talking to but the other guy recommended the first one he recommended was drago nooch and they were saying that in both of our Suikoden playthroughs, we both have a Russian victor. But uh, Drago Nooch does like the Suikoden playthrough, but he voice acts all of it himself. It's, like, pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. Pretty good stuff. I showed you, like, a, a, mm -hmm. a bit I of I remember watching back, through that now. Back. Yeah, yeah. Also, thank you for, for the bless use. But yeah, dude, good to have good to have you. Thanks for yeah. dropping dropping in, big dog. Appreciate having you by. Uh, let's see, Jess. I feel like the new game is very gimmicky. Honestly, I have them all because I needed it for collecting. But I also really dislike the DLC concept for what should have been the, in the game to begin with. Yeah, no. Uh, that's pretty close to my own feelings. There was so much potential that I feel like is just being set aside and not really utilized. And as long as people keep continuing to buy it in like super bulk quantities, I guess my opinion on it doesn't really matter because they're going to be making money. But at the end of the day, that's any business. Yeah. Well, which one are you talking about? Oh, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um... Oh, yeah. Is like, I played Sun and Moon 
uh, or I started Sun and Moon. And Sun and Moon was like, cool. There were so many things about it that made me like excited and want to play it. But I still somehow got bored by it. Because somehow when like all those things were put together, it just it didn't come together. Like, they were cool Pokemon design. They got rid of like the traditional gym structure. They added boss Pokemon with like hordes. They did all these cool things that should have by all means pulled me in and somehow they executed in a way that just made me not care. And it makes me sad. Like, is the... Also, they keep doing this thing where like, so like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon or whatever uh -huh. was basically the full version of the game that should have just come out like in the first place. Like Persona 5 Royal? Oh, I was just kidding. <laughs> Persona 5 was already 200 hours long, so I can give that one some credit. But the, the later Pokemon games have been dangerously short. Uh, and a huge part of that is that the uh, experience share, which you start getting very early in the game, you get it after the first gym in X and Y, and it affects your entire party. Like, it's not just one per Pokemon's holding it and exploiting experience, it's the entire party gains half your experience for every Pokemon. And it just made the game a joke. Everything was over leveled all the time. They don't, they never designed the game to be balanced around it. Uh, the spoon fed thing feels like a good apt comparison for Sun and Moon. Like, it was very much like, here's all these characters we clearly want you to be invested in, instead of like just giving you time to be invested in them. chat and then completely lost track of what I was saying. I have no idea what I was just talking about. The words are gone. Oh, Might as well have not existed in my past life. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's frustrating. Because I, I went back and I played Black and White recently and Black and White it doesn't feel like the same company made that game that made any of the games that came after it. Yeah, like I, aren't, aren't like all the old the old guys who were like on the OG team like gone now? Or I mean, there might be like one. No, I don't think so. I think it's just that Game Freak has been having it for so long that they've just kind of run out of steam making it. Run out of ideas, maybe. I mean, I don't think they've run out of ideas. Is they've they've got they've been doing cool things. They've just been not executing on them. I didn't get to play black and white too. I really want to. Here's a flash drive. Let's make a Pokemon out of it. Uh, and I will defend. I will defend some of the Gen Six and Onward Pokemon designs because there's some really good ones. Uh, Crab Brawler is really good. How Luca is really good. Um, there's more I can think of off the top of my head. I'm just not. Uh, I I just don't understand why the where the like vigor went. They just lost. They lost steam, man. I feel like. I feel like the catalyst that they had the first time was almost the like the TV show and they they have like a pretty good you know what I mean they they had a demographic that they hit and it went off well here's like, the thing hard. though the TV show if anything has actually gotten better in the last few years like the, the anime has been kind of popping off 
and being rad. If anything, the anime started out like charming and nostalgic and I love it, but in the last few years it's actually been like legitimately really good. Like some buttery action sequences and blah yeah. blah. But even the crowd, I'm saying the crowd that jumped on in the first generation, who's probably like you guys and got sick at black and white, mm -hmm. like even even the anime can't like keep those. Because I mean, a lot a lot of us are really young when that happened, and now we're to like, I'm not I'm not going back and looking for more Pokemon games or looking mm -hmm. to get the newest Pokemon game. Like these, these I think are the kind of the golden years, like the first three or so. so. Oh, I I definitely prefer the Pixel era of Pokemon games to to the uh, 3D ones. They, I I've said this before. I prefer Pixel games to 3D in general. Uh, for certain things because I think that 3D renders not done exceedingly well don't cross the uncanny valley and feel less lifelike and awesome than good equivalently good pixel art, you know? Yeah, agreed. Uh, and if we could have gotten one or two more games in the style of black and white where it was still all the pixel graphics, but they were fully, like, moving and stuff during fights. So, like, right here, in black and white, Metatite would be, like, its arms would be moving up and down and its head would be bobbing, it'd be blinking and stuff, but it would still all be pixel graphics and stuff. Stardew Valley's getting an update soon? Ooh. Want. That's something... That's something we need to play on the channel, so I can be the lesbian rabbit farmer I've always wanted to be in my heart. I always knew you had it, didn't you? Dude, that's that's my that's my true my true self. Somewhere out there. Dude, lesbian rabbit farmer for the win. You will evolve into a lesbian rabbit farmer at level 35, prom. At level 35? Ooh, multiplayer farm with the scoundrel squad? Actually, that sounds really fun. I would be pretty about that. I've actually never played that game multiplayer. I would be pretty about it. I've never played it, I don't think at all. Uh, have you ever I've played seen, Harvest I've Moon? I've seen... Yeah, I've seen a few people play it, though. Uh... It... It feels... So I've not played... A, I've only... The only two Harvest Moon games I've, like, properly played are... Um... Friends of Mineral Town and A Wonderful Life, which were the Game Boy Advance and GameCube ones, respectively. Uh... Highly recommend both, by the way. Weren't those the best? Those are, I mean, like, just referred to as the best ones? Um, there would be people who probably agree and disagree with that statement. I just mean, like, the overwhelming average of fan favorites. I th like Friends of Mineral Town is like my most best. People, it's like most people think Suikoden 2 is the best. Right, right. Of, of those. I, um... I lean towards Friends of Mineral Town being my personal favorite Harvest Moon game. I think game. that's the one that I might have played. It was the Game Boy Advance one. Um, there was more Friends of Mineral Town, which was the one... Oh, Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town is a Switch remaster. What? That's a thing? That is a thing. Oh, Jess, you just fucking blew my mind wide open. It's 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 here all over all over my desk. I have money to spend the instant the stream ends. I'm already broke, but there it goes. Gotta commit. Good night. Good night, last paycheck. 
If I'm gonna be broke, I might as well be, like, nostalgically entertained and broke. Oh, come on, knock yourself out in confusion. Do it, yes. Freddy Fats. Coming in clean. Yeah, he's a monster, dude. Crabby. I'm about to send out Rocky once more. How's uh, Belvedere looking? Belvedere's at 21. This is the only reason this is taking so long, is I'm constantly having to swap between stuff. Yeah, that's not a big deal. What's the, uh, is the rival battle on the ship? Or yes, the rival battle, no, the rival battle is like almost next we are honestly actually we're probably strong enough for it we haven't seen lee bob in a minute yeah we haven't seen lee bob since cerulean piece of shit yeah i'm not far from my own assessment on that one not a big fan of lee bob let me he is pretty much trash.com Pretty much trash.com indeed. Couldn't put it better myself. It's our new website, by the way. 100% trash. Trash.com. Trash. Trash. Welcome to 100% trash.com. Hey, it's nothing but pictures of us. <laughs> it's just us. Just us. Uh, our, our site. All right, we're about to get it's off just the a boat website. for a minute. It's just a website with the text file that says our website. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let me look at our Pokemon. We should be good to fight. Lee Bob, I think. You say that now, dude. We know he's he's level 24, right? No, that's Surge. That's so, the Surge. Okay. Yeah, we, we were talking about it before the stream. So far, all the gym leaders, their rosters are different, but their, their levels are the same. Yeah. So. Well, the rosters... You usually have a, uh, a surprise Pokemon. Right. Okay. Or two. One or two. The last one. We're going to go for it. I, I have faith in the heart of the cards. We're going to Lee Bob? We're going to Lee Bob. Here he is. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Let me... I got I to get ready for Lee Bob. What up, bitch? There he is. <laughs> Bonjour, danger. Imagine seeing you here. Danger, were you even invited on this cruise? So how's your Pokedex coming, bro? I already bought like 40 kinds, dude. You're a little pussy. Different kinds are everywhere. Why don't you catch everything you come across? Yeah, we're, we're doing Nuzlocke rules just because you're not Crawl stuck. around. Oh, you got your nuzzes logs, like little nuzzies. Crawl around like the grassy areas. Don't be a dumbass and look <laughs> hard. Okay. All right, dude. We're about to smash this guy's stupid face. All right. He only has four Pokemon. Hmm. Golbat. You made a mistake. Your Golbat is no... No chance for this thunder punch. No chance. That's what you got. The plug explodes. Belvedere, go. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what he's got coming out. <laughs> About to use Grand Bull. Oh. Let's see. You know? We're going to keep, keep the plug out. Oof. That intimidate. Okay. We're gonna thunder wave him. 
Because I know I'm not going to one-shot him. Ooh. Fucking feeling frisky. Yeah. Spicy. Let's see. What's doing more? That is definitely doing more. I have to send out Cadaver. I will swap Pokemon. his defense just as I threw out the mud shot. He knew. He did nothing though. starter better start right now bro ooh I don't know what that does but I hate it ooh that's what it does and I hate it <laughs> When did he get that ugly thing, dude? Uh, that's a smooch of it evolved. Damn, smooch him. Smooch him looks like Britney Spears right now, bro. That's really mean. It's <laughs> very... a smooch him or it's a Britney? Yes. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Not very nice thing to say, Carter. <laughs> well, it just looks like... She's dressed like Britney Spears, right? Maybe. Alright, luckily I bought Awakenings, so this was not hard. Ooh! Damn, they just crit. Luckily he's not in a healing mood. Oh. Uh... Alright. Get fucked. Mm. At least you're raising your Pokemans. Alright. I am raising my Pokemans. I heard there was a cut master on board. Put it next to my ninja master. But it was just a seasick old man. <laughs> cut itself is really useful. Yep, it'll be, be handy as hell. You should go see him. Smell you later. Do changer. Do 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 Rub rub. Rub rub. do thank you. I'm feeling much better now that you've gently laid your hands on me, young man. Uh, you want to see my hidden cut technique? Here, let me just pull my sword out. Shring, and I could show you my prize cut technique if I weren't so ill. And you know what? Just, you can have this. It's hidden machine. Cut, cut Pokemon. All, any time. Words using cut trees. Why not vermilion? All right. Good talk, Captain. You're still feeling a little underwell, as I can see. How to conquer seasickness. Oh, Cap. You classic. Classic, classic. Cap. Alright, it's time to leave the SSN. It's been a cool boat ride. Wait, you're not gonna heal first? Too late. Oh, well, I mean, the Pokemon Center's right around the corner. Oh. So, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You'll get no healies here, bro. 
Mm, I love Heelys. I wish to roll around on them fervently from place to place. I just want to get Heelys. Let's. All right. All right. All right. I can teach a Pokemon cut now. Who's going to be the cutter of the group? Let's see. Who can learn it? The only one who can learn it right now is Belvedere. Mm, that is a, a spot. Uh, that's a weak choice on Belvedere, too. Uh, tell you what. We're going to... We don't even need it, dude. Well, I mean, Just... we, we need it to get here. Uh, no, we do need... We do need cut. Um, Let's throw it out. Throw it out. I'll tell you what. We're just going to put it on Velveteer now. And later, I can take it off of him. Well, can't we just put it on somebody, use them to cut stuff when we want, but not use it on one of our main boys? Let's see. Do we have someone we can use as an HM bot? And maybe if they're a backup or something, it might be a choice, but... Uh... Cat would be able to learn... Scratch. Or cut. What about, P what about Pikachu? Or, or Bob Ross? Uh, Bob Ross could actually learn... Cut. And Bob Ross's offensive set's actually pretty limited, so like... There are worse things you can do. I will swap him with... Draco. Yeah. Draco. I mean, do we need a Draco for this gym or no? Um... There, I... Honestly, for this particular gym, I would take this over that. Let me see if I can actually teach him. Nice. I'm back after some shenanigans, so that's good. We're about to go beat up Surge. Surge is about to catch these hands. Our collective hands. Uh, Bob Ross can't learn cut? No, he can. I'm gonna get rid of Lear. like th throw a CD at him? I did. And it worked. That's how learning moves works. I, I stick a CD on your forehead, I press a button, the CD uploads to your brain, and you can now fire flamethrowers from your mouth. And then it explodes. Apparently. So, something that started in Gen 5 and would go on with later games is that TMs were also reusable, and honestly, it's the best thing they've ever fucking done. Like, I I hate one-use TMs. I think they should be all infinite use. Uh, I'm sure you'd appreciate this Pokemon. Oh, we got a Squirtle! Sh shit, yes. Do you mm. get one in the in the original from that guy? No, in the original, it's this is one of the. All right, we're starting to get the original spark starters now. Uh, we're gonna name him. Holy shit, we got a Squirtle. Is uh, that a dude, dude, or a dude girl? Squirtle, yeah. Dude Squirtle. Um, I'm thinking. Um. Boris. Uh. I like Boris. Just Boris. It's just straight Boris. Rianu Keeves. Canoe yeah. Reeves. No, Canoe Reeves. That's not gonna fit. Yeah, it will. It will not. K C A N N O E. 
R E E V S. Or canoe reeve. Canoe Reeve. Or Canoe Reeves, just put an S. Boom. Canoe Reeves, bro. Alright. Hooray, we have a Squirtle now. It's really friendly. Hooray. That's a plus. It's a plus. And we got a Thunderstone. Also hooray. Are we gonna use our Squirtle at this gym, bro? Yeah, let's go to the electric gym and pop a level 10 squirtle out at it, see what happens. <laughs> People Sacrifice. have a good time. Sacrifice them. Right. Immediately use our Gen 1 starter for cannon butter. The Lightning American, mm -hmm. is that what they call him? Yep. The Lightning American. He's locked himself in, so it won't be easy getting to him. All right, well, let's fight your friends. Is that the chef? Another sailor. Rianu Keeves does sound like a Star Wars character. Eat you. You're woefully underqualified for the shit slapping you're about to get. Yep. Mud slap. Dude, we're gonna beat this whole game with mud slap, dude. Seems that way. We will be shooting mud slaps out of our mud lab. Oh, not this bullshit. We only need to hit it once. Question is, will we? Come on. Will we ever hit it again? Apparently not. We're stuck in a loop, dude. It's Sekiro. It's Sekiro. It's seriously Sekiro only used. Time. There we go. We are in a Sekiro time loop right now, bro. Are we in a Sekiro time loop? Because I hate it. No, I'm just kidding. We're at, we're at this gym. Leader's uh, gym. Okay. Sailor Dwayne. Sailor oh. Dwayne, get f fucked. <laughs> Indeed. All right, let's go take on this balding guy. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined this gym. Dude, they don't know about our plug. Engineer Bailey. They don't know about the plug. They don't know about my butt. I didn't want to use water gun. I wanted to use the other thing. Oh. He's just going to charge. We get fucking... That always deals 20 damage. Quick uh, mud shot. And he's done. Out. Cold. About to use Magnemite. I will switch Pokemon. Uh oh. The plug can Now out. we're not we're not taking Bob Ross to fight this guy, right? We're gonna take Belvedere. It doesn't matter. Well, we're, probably not using either one. we're not gonna use either of them. Boom. God, plug is getting stacked. Dude, they can't compare to the plug, bro. Alright, let me pop a potion on this dude. I have enough money in potions right now that I can. Fight. This guy fought for Surge in the Army. This game is the only one to acknowledge that the United States military exists. <laughs> Which is an interesting development. Is that like the, the one town or something that 
acknowledges him? Well, I mean, Lieutenant Surge is the Lightning American. He served in the military. That's what I'm saying, but like, are, are there any other towns that talk about the military? Nope. Not to my knowledge. Alright. Time for just actual straight guesswork. One of these trash cans. Why so many trash cans? Alright, now one of the ones around it. Oh, lock reset. It's. This is less of a puzzle and more of a. Okay. Now one of the ones around this. Oh. Got it. The best ones to get are in the corners. Because then there's like only two people, or not two people, two spots it could be. Okay. Hooray. We did it. They will not be a match for us with our raspberries. Alright. Hold my berry pouch, bro. Hey, kid. What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat. Not with your puny power. I tell you, kid. Electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zapped my enemies into paralysis. Same as I'll do to you... Gonna hit you with a Dunderbolt. <laughs> Dunderbolt. Gonna hit you with a Dunderbolt. Dunder, 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 Dunderbolt. Then hit him with another Dunderbolt. Get out, Flappy. <laughs> mm. Flappy, go get it. Well, there's one down. Oh, Flappy, no. <laughs> Flappy, yes. About to use Chen Chow. Uh, that is a water electric type. Let me send Ricky. out. Now I'm gonna send out the plug. Plug has Volt Absorb. He will heal from electric type moves. Chuh, the Chen Chow, dude. You're about to get zonked. Critical Hitsu. Bad. Can I be? So electric types can be paralyzed. I'm underway. Today I learned. What is. Oh, we do need to make a lurk command, I guess. Oh, shit. What is, what is lurk to? Um, I don't know. While well, chat inform us what that command we need to make does. Inform me of the com command, and I will make the command. We've been over this before. I don't know well, what the I don't know what the lurk is. Bruh. You know what we haven't been over? Dunderbolt. Dunderbolt. Hit him with another Dunderbolt. <laughs> <laughs> I tried oh. to put lurk, but I actually typed Turk. Jesus. Also. Turk. Turk. Bruh. To you. This Chin Chow. Being a pain not, in my ass. It's not playing. Just a kind of make flavor text for people when they say they're lurking. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, I can do that. Alright. Please. For the love of Christ, stop. About to send out Raichu. Yeah, I'm a swap Pokemon. Get out there, my butt. It 
Toes then. Level 27. Ooh, so it does have higher levels than... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's real. Oh. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit better now. What is this? Well, whatever it is, it's dead. Oh, God, Jesus. I have to use Manetric. I will keep this dude out. All right, Raichu, I think, was the worst of it. Mm. Raichu? Yeah. Ooh, all right. Let me. Oh, sweet. Dropping that citrus berry. Uh huh. I also can do this bullshit. All right. Manetric down. About to use Jolteon. I will not swap Pokemon, but I will heal. Used pen missile. That's bug type move. I ain't tripping about that. That's some that's some bullshit. I do want a Jolteon now though. Give me that Jolteon, bro. I want a Jolteon. Jolteon is my favorite of the original three Eevee Illusions. I will say. Moo Moo Milk? That fucking thing just straight chugged a glass of milk in front of me. Like an asshole. I do like Vaporeon, don't get me wrong. But I'm also aware that Jolteon bodies Vaporeon. Boom. to use Magneton. Will we swap Pokemon? Yes. Not yet, though. Bag. Paralyze heal. Yeah. Metal sound. What does that do? Special defense harshly fell. Oh, I don't fucking like that. Um. Alright. Get out there, plug. Karate chop. Chop it. Oh, fuck off. Alright, well, we're gonna, oh, I don't have a full restore. Alright, I'm gonna heal up real quick, it's a not in immediate danger. That's only gonna hit me for 10. Oh, well, can I heal again, I guess. Okay, now it's gonna heal. All right. Um. That's pain in the ass. That is also Ice. a pain in the ass. Okay. Ice punch. Please don't crit, for fuck's sake. It is done. Yes. Lieutenant Surge is defeated. We did it. 
All right, so the old level caps mean nothing. Good to know. Yeah. You're the real deal, kid. Find in. Take the Dunda badge. Dunda. Without a single loss. The Dunda badge cranks up your Pokemon speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly lightning quick anytime, kid. You special kid. Take this. At Shockwave. Fuck yes, dude. TM34. TM34 contains Shockwave. Teach to an electric Pokemon. Yeah. Dunda badge. <laughs> Got ourselves a proper Dunda badge. Ah. Uh. Light bulb. Thank you, Bob Ross. Thank you for seeing us out. Shockwave would actually be good on the plug. Shockwave is a fucking great move because uh, it never misses, no matter how evasive they get. Really? Yes. So someone comes out and decides they're going to drop. Oh, hello. Danger, how are you doing? It's me. Hold on. Professor Oak's aides. Did you meet the other aide? He had a package from Professor Oak for you, Danger. He said he'd look for you around Route 2. He said if you're in the Route 2 area, please look for him. Oh, we had to go do the whole Diglett Cave shit real quick. Did we forget to meet that guy? Uh, no. We just didn't go yet. Oh. But Route 2, though, that's like... We wouldn't have been able to get to him without cut. Oh, right. But now we can. And we already caught our Pokemon for in here. I don't remember what it was, but I know we caught one in here already. Oh, no. It's horrifying. And that's it. Solid. Thank you for pointing out solid advice, scoundrel bot. Yep. You're trying to learn what? muddy water. Ooh. This is a new move. That's that's a band. Uh the muser attacks with muddy water may also lower the foe's accuracy. I'm gonna trade Mudslap? Yeah, because that's super low power and usage. Mudshot's pretty much the same thing anyways. Muddy Water is like... We're trading like power for accuracy. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll trade Mudslap for... Deal. Let's make a deal Mud now. butt learn Muddy Water. Ugh. Alright. Let us continue. Dunsparce. That's what we caught. The Dunsparce. Forgot. <laughs> well, let's see what this looks like. It's brown surf. <laughs> oh my. That's like, that's like diarrhea water. It is. That's straight. Oh, fuck you. We're just gonna get away. I really just want to get through here. Wait, you didn't catch anything. I already caught something for this area. We got the Dunsparce, remember? We can't catch anything here. We're going, we're just passing through. True, true. Like, we're just, we're just trying to get through to... I loved, this was a this, little... This a shortcut? Yeah, we're going to uh, go to Route 2 to get Flash real quick. Oh, we forgot Flash. Uh, a detail they added in the remake of this is the ground has little spots on it that look like Diglett heads poking through. And that was a nice little little detail. Yeah, I like how they did that. They didn't have to, but they did. This was a really good uh this was the first Pokemon remake, like remaster. Um back in two thousand three. Oh, I forgot. Marine Trap is a thing. Uh, okay. 
bro. Bro. It's super effective. Get my butted. Oop, and we're out. <coughs> Went inside Rock Tunnel, but it's pitch black and scary in there. If I can get a Pokemon Ease Flash and light it up, that sounds like a helpful clue. Gotta light it up, bro. I've got a raging clue. Dude, you're close. You're close so big. Biggest <laughs> clue of them all. Uh, 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 a fainted Pokemon just has no energy left to battle. It can still use moves uh, like cut outside uh, of battle uh, now. Uh, uh. Uh, ha, ha. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Looking for the Pokemon Magnemite. Would you trade one for my Mr. Mime? Oh, oh, nope. oh. Do, 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 Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. You know, Bogart likes complete data on 10 species. I'm supposed to give you a reward. Press me with HMO5. I have gathered... I've caught or owned at least 18 kinds of Pokemon. Hooray. 18 whole Pokemans. 18 That's whole right. Pokemans. 18 Pokemans. 18 An million. ether. Mmm. Yum. Our favorite. That's nice. our favorite pastime. Favorite pastime is either. I could have sworn nothing like something on the nothing ground like over some here. starter fluid straight to the dome. Hmm. 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 This is the way. I hadn't considered that. Uh, Platinum said it. It's right. He's right though. Do you know the way? It is the way, John DiMaggio. Do you know the way? Do these things just keep growing back? Yeah, they come back the instant you leave a screen. You pretty much have to have a Pokemon with Cut in your party. Uh, Damn. It's okay. I mean, it's not because we're in a version of Pokemon that's significantly harder and having full type coverage seems significantly more important, but what ifs? No big deal. Hey, no, no thing. No big deal. All right. I think you're very rude, Mr. Daywit. Get fucked, Dig. Get the fuck out of here, you dig. Whoa. You no. lie. You lied about the tacos. Bro, why would you do that? We'll never forgive you, Dig. Never forgive you after your betrayal, you piece of shit. You. Orson. You garbage. This is what I was looking for. Super repel. You fucking Muppet. You Muppet. You wee Muppet. Oh god, fucking Final Fantasy tactics. Dude, I'm so... Look at them over here, couple of Muppets. I'm so hyped for Australian Final Fantasy tactics. Ah. Welcome down under then. So it seems. <laughs> so I couldn't oh, help but hey, no. So I couldn't help but notice you're a member of the House of Beowulf. <laughs> Beowulf. Well, I'll tell you. Takes the piss right out of it then. I'm a member of the House of Beowulf myself. <laughs> Actually, it's me that's Ramsey. You're Deleter. You're Lowborn. Don't mind we're me. Bo we're both Australian, though. I'm a chemist. I means I got some Vegemite for my team members. <laughs> Give me a crossbow and a pint of whiskey. Got uh, some Vegemite and some Fasters. I'll take the whole bottle then. Wait, we have a rare candy, bro. Yeah. A rare it? Wario. Oh, rare Wario candy. A rare 310 milligrams of MDMA. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's Jesus. a rare candy. That fucking Best. picture cracks me up every time I see it. I'm like... It's pretty good. I would pull You're like up. expecting a stupid Matrix joke or something, and it's like, boom. To be you. fair, you basically get a stupid Matrix joke. Whoa.
<laughs> is it well written? Yes. Is it well written? Get out of here, John DiMaggio. One for one, John DiMaggio. We have 33 grand. John DiMaggio. That is significantly more money than we had before. Real DiMaggio it is. Moontosh. Get your goon touch. Uh, we can probably tosh. afford this. I mean, we can afford it. I'm just deciding if I want it on. Lush. Get the goon touch. Oh, yeah. Get the goon touch. Yeah. The goon touch. You have to put your goon touch where your goulash was. Oh, yeah. Prop. <laughs> you gotta get. The goon tosh. And if you go to the moon, you can pull out your boon, boon, boon. You're a goon tosh. And you will be a man of the moon tosh. Okay. You definitely just started to take the melody from fucking Dayman. You were. You, <laughs> you were running out of steam and then started to pivot into fucking Dayman. Ah. <laughs> I, I don't think so. No, I, I, so. no, I think so. Don't you fucking? No. Yeah. Dude, Moontosh has nothing to do with the day man. Even, even though I do like that song. Day man. Ah. I was singing. I was singing it to this melody of the song that's playing right now, dude. So it, uh, uh. I wasn't really going in there with a the day man. Mm. But hey. Ah, light of the night, man. Ah, Allah, ah, ah, champion of the sun. And propriety and friendship, episode. everyone. Just as soon as he's down on his <laughs> knee at the end of it, and she's just like, okay, is this done? And then just fucking gets up and walks out. Just leaves him there. Just fucking... That was glorious. It's a good episode. I like, I like when they go to Jersey and she's like, she's like all of a sudden in love with them. And then it was just the Wario Bills. Hmm. I actually did like, not see that one. You didn't see that one? No, I'm, I saw like the first five or six seasons and then like need to get caught up on the rest of them. Oh, which you may recognize as most of the show. Uh, all right. Yeah. Danny New route is king. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. Dude, you're fucked up. Start what the to fuck your face like up? Check out here, Alicia here. Check out my sun curtain. It's a bad, it's a badass. You fucking hate on my sun curtain, bro. Dude, what to destroy this sun curtain? I am. One hit. In one punch, if you will. Oh shit, we just got a subscriber, bro. That is Zach resubbing for his second month. Thank you, Zach. Oh, thanks, bro. Scholar and a gentleman. President Bob Master. Both of those things. And that other thing. These Pokemon are giving such few experience. That it almost doesn't seem worth putting it. Yeah. So I will rage. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a dragon in a cage. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm. That's what Rob said. Mm hmm, mm hmm. The foe is shrouded in mist. Yep, 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 yep. We're getting such alpha. This is such excellent commentary. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you ever see House of Cosby's? House of Cosby's. Yeah, is that, like, how, is that House of Wax? But the sequel? no, it was an old cartoon that got fucking pulled off of like 
they Bill Cosby issued a cease and fucking desist order for the not dude making this code show. Term. No, it was not an official show. It was some dude on YouTube. If you saw it, you would understand this is not an official Bill Cosby product. The premise is a man uh takes a Bill Cosby hair and clones dozens of variant Bill Cosby's. <laughs> And then lives in a giant has house filled with Bill Cosby's. I'm Bill Cosby number 37, bathtub Cosby. <laughs> why, why wouldn't, why was not uh, Bill Cosby on board of this? <laughs> I don't know, Carter. I can only why imagine. Was not, why would not Bill Cosby Bill. want possibly negative attention brought to well, himself? Well, I said, why was not Bill Cosby? <laughs> It's like, did I stutter, bud? Did I st yeah, I probably did. Yeah, actually, probably. It's like, actually, I probably stuttered the whole time. I found Aerial Ace. That's good. Hell yeah. Just what I always wanted. All right, who do I have out front? Rocky. Okay. All right, let's take this fucking fat boy to the bank. I'm ready to take this fat boy to the bank. Ooh, that was a yawn mid-sentence, and I just got hyper bassy. Dude, <laughs> that are, was you, that was real real low. You are you are <laughs> hyper count Rob Basie. My ba my voice has been bassier lately. Like winter comes and my vocal cords slow to a glacial crawl. Turned into a crazy uh, hibernating guy. And then I can speak in a truly truly low register. I need to go into voice acting or something. Make some money off these dulcet tones. Yeah, Please stop seismic you. tossing me. I am Freddy Fats. This is my real voice. Do not make fun of me. Go away, Machop. You're looking at me and my weird eyes and my big nose. I don't appreciate it. Get out of here. Get out. Rocky understands he has that dumb fin thing growing out of the top of his head. Isn't that right, Rocky? Meanwhile, yeah, fucking Rocky's just sitting in the corner like, oh, don't fucking talk shit on me. And he's like, yeah, Rocky with his dumb fucking fin head thing that no one likes. He understands my mockery. Maki, we hate your aesthetics. They're shit. Get out of here, Rocky. <laughs> Get up there, my butt. Ooh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep you on in your ear. You gonna blast on nose fast now, oh, bro? I am. I'm about to drop some muddy water on him. <laughs> the poo tsunami. Yeah, tsunami. <laughs> the the poonami, if you will. Poonami, poo, poonami. Poonami. Drop it with the poo. Mud poonami button. droppers. Poonami droppers. Wow. I didn't think we were getting. <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna be that big, kind of a show. Big. It's only fucking Wednesday or Thursday. Big. Poonami droppers is real. Dude, it's real. Oh, well, I was gonna read the sign, but I guess I'll fight this guy. Who's that walking there with those good looking Pokemon? God. Yep. Camper Chris, you fucking cuck. Alright. I Cut him feel. Down. Get him, get him, get him rocked. Say, I feel a little safe about this. What is that? Never shit? mind. That's Lamb oh, shit. That's Lamb Before Time, dude. That's a number. <laughs> That's Littlefoot. Lamb. <laughs> Littlefoot, yeah. Bro, fucking. <laughs> Littlefoot. <laughs> if we catch a new Mel, we've got his name. Dude, Lamb Before Time is pretty much the best kids' movie ever. Lamb Besides Before Time is really good. Besides The Sopranos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carter, did I. <laughs> Man. If, we're if we're comparing kids stuff. Uh, so God. I went up. Street Sharks. <laughs> uh, so when I was younger, I uh, went into a Barnes and Noble and I went to the gentleman working in the video section of the Barnes and Noble and I said, uh, sir, I'm looking for a uh, comedy and wondering if you could help me find it. He's like, yes, sir. Get lady. out. <laughs> no, I fucking told him Schindler's List because I was a bad person. 
there's no punchline to that other than I went and requested a movie about the Holocaust and asked for the comedy section because I'm a terrible, shitty teenager. This is not a redeeming story. I don't know why what you were telling me just brought it up. Uh, it was for a bet. It was for a bet, and I got my $10. That was $10 easily earned. I didn't actually think that movie was meant to be portrayed that way, so I have no cognitive dissonance. I slept well that night. Got my $10. That gentleman seemed concerned, though. <laughs> he seemed not very about it. I've never actually seen Chandler's List. Probably should. Carter, I lose you. You, just, you awestruck by that one? Parterre. Party Barty. Big Carter Fats. Party Barty Bo Barty. Fanana Fana Fo Party. to return some tapes, videotapes. I believe it. You know, if Carter was probably, I believe Carter has some outstanding VHSs he's probably bringing back. They're back, bro. There he is. Oh man, those duty watchers. Pretty sick, pretty slick, pretty slick pimps. I notice you're trying to heal, even though when you wish upon yourself You get hit by dragon breath That was an adjacent rabbit, it didn't really work, but you're gonna go with it It so happens Copyright oh, strike on Rob That's what I'd say, <laughs> there we go I sang it too perfectly <laughs> That was so perfect, dude You're you get popped Dude, that actually happened to some dudes They fucking sang songs a little too closely And it fucking, uh they got popped for it. Get dropped. Get dropped. Get dropped, John DiMaggio. One for one, DiMaggio. That's what I'm gonna. Dude. That's the game plan from now on. I'm gonna try and perfectly sing a thing, everything, and every stream we get copyright blocked. We know I succeeded. Hell yeah. Let's start with Queen. You. <laughs> Let's start. Let's start with you Gregorian, would... Gregorian chants. No one owns the IP <laughs> to to Pope Greg and the. You know, oh, by the way, one of my band names that is going to happen one day, I promise, is Pope Greg and the Funky Monks. It's going to be a oh. Gre Gregorian oh. theme funk, funk band. band. Yeah, dude. Pope Greg Gregorian, and the Funky Monks. Gregorian funk. Yeah, dude. It's real. It's I mean, you real. have to think. Most jazz is modal anyway. Bill DiMaggio and the Jungle Funks. Bill DiMaggio, Pope Greg, and the Jungle Funky Monks. <laughs> no, no, no. No, what's his name? Uh, Big, Big Surge and the Dunda Bunch. <laughs> Big Surge and the Dunda Bunch. The Dunda Bunch. Oh my god. <laughs> the Dunda Bunch. <laughs> Give him with another Dunderbolt. <laughs> Dunderbolt. <laughs> I love it. Dunderbolt. Dunderbolt. Hey, right, you Get hit him with another Dunderbolt. <laughs> Get out of here, DiMaggio. Get out of here, DiMaggio. You Dunderhead. DiMaggio. <laughs> what? That was all caps. That guy just said, what a total waste of time. What a piece of shit. He fought. He challenged me. I didn't even want to fight you. That was on you, bud. He, all he's right. like, what a waste of time. You just... Just fucking kick my ass. What a waste. Okay. Let us what see. What a waste of perfectly good time we had. This is fresh grass, Carter. Uh-oh. Fresh grass The best is the best grass? All right. Well, let's see what this item is. A leaf stone. Damn. Can we evolve into a uh, Nuzlocke if we use that? Uh Oh, we already have one of these. Not today. Not is what I say to not to. 
Sorry, bud. Rejected. If we should have named our not to not today. Not today. <laughs> and not when it today, evolves. Because we're, we're never using it. Yeah, you're right. Ooh. Not, use, not using this is, would be a good name, too. <laughs> not going to use it. I like Granbull. So Snubble oh. is an okay... Oh, yeah, I was asking earlier about the Grand Bull. Yeah, it evolved the... from this. Really? Yes. Ooh. That's the one I want. Do you want? Because it, it, like it looks like a pit bull, sort of. Yeah. It's the pit bull. Yeah, it's, it's a dope Pokemon. It's a fairy type in later games. Uh, it's not in this one. It's just normal. But, like, normal type is still good. Normal type is underrated because it's very effective against many things. All right. I'm gonna twist. I'm gonna come on, baby. Alright, I can do that one more time. Gently. Gently set it on tornado. Alright. It's a bulldog. Yeah. That's actually. Yeah. I didn't even think about that as Carter said it. It was a bulldog, not a pit bull. It's both. It's all the animals. It's a fairy Pokemon. Neither. Pit bull and the, the <laughs> little baby thing looks like a bulldog. Why don't I have got my Pokedex voice in a while? <clears throat> Snubble, the fairy Pokemon. It has an active, playful nature. Many women like to frolic with it because of its affectionate ways. Mm -mm. I would like to name... Uh, Alright, what are we naming our womanizing bulldog? Oh, dude. Is there anything more, more appropriate than uh, DeVito? DeVito? Just D E. As about to say, I was wondering if I could fit Danny in front of it. Yeah. Devito boy. Yeah. Yeah, nay. Devito dog, just Devito. All right, well, devito has got to be in the party now. We have to kick... Oh, shit. We oh, to... I, I love Ether. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. What say you? Ah, trainer, would you care for this Bulbasaur? I fucking would. Yeah, I would. All right, well, we name him Bulbasaur. Um... Oh, shit. Um... I was just thinking, dude. We just we just had a name the other day. It was one of your other band names. Oh, something about uh, it was like slippery penis or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you don't remember? Oh, it? oh, it was. Oh God, I hate the fact <laughs> that you're actually kind of fucking close with the statement slippery but penis. It was butter. It was buttery peen or something. Buttery peen. Buttery peen. Cabbage is good, too, though. I do <laughs> like cabbage. Cabbage. Bruh, you really gonna call Bulbasaur trash, Taylor? Think real carefully about who you... <laughs> trash, trash. <laughs> cabbage is... Cabbage nice. lad. Cabbage lad. Uh, cabbage <laughs> <laughs> cabbage bee, cabbage bee, cabbage bee. Actually, oh no. Cabbage. Well, <laughs> it's cabbage. It's ca cabbageella now. It's cabbageella. I guess. Cabbageella. Uh, we almost got a Pokemon that was not good. Cabbageella, dude. It's like uh, that. The ancient um, emperor. 
Caligula? Yeah, dude, except it's Cabadula. Cabadula? <laughs> Let's see, what are you even on about? Dude, you just named that fucking thing Cabadula. This gets a lot do you uh, not know what I'm talking about? Rob, can you hear me, bro? No, I can hear you. I'm okay. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm like reading chat. Oh. Uh, because we can change names in Lavender Town. Hello, my cat. I don't know if you can all hear him shouting in the background. I'm about to pick him up. Hello, bud. Would you like the opportunity to speak your mind? Hello, little man. All right. All right, punch that plus one in stupid face. Not very effective. What up, little man? Get bit. Actually, I think it is future. We do need a webcam so every time one of the three cats that saunters across my desk does, you see it. Do that here too. Mm. Wait, did we already fight that rocket bitch? We did. That was that was many minutes ago. Mm. Now I know where we are. Yeah, it's a ruling. We've been here this whole time. We came all the way back we up. Never, it, it's like we never left. It's true. It's like the last two hours we were on a boat in a different city didn't happen. Ooh. It was all a figment of your match. I think this is an excellent point by which to launch off for our next Pokemon stream. We we beat the SSM, we beat our rival, we beat Lieutenant Surge, and we've got the Rock Tunnel and Lavender Town and a whole bunch of other shit ahead of us. Uh, uh, yeah. So, on that note, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Hit this little post stream thing. Hey, little man, you better not be trying to run. <coughs> Is my cat trying to escape my affections? Unacceptable. You will stay here and not betray me. Hell yeah, dude. All right, I got some, got some of that beautiful Rustboro City music to play us out. And everyone the rest of their afternoon. We'll probably be back sometime later this evening with either uh, Carter taking more cracks at Persona like a beast or something else. We don't. We'll see you guys later. You, uh, any final comments, Carter? Any? Uh, nope. Just, uh, we'll see you guys on the next, on the flip-flop. All right, bye guys. Thank you.